In this module, we'll review the organization settings screen and the configuration of automated email reminders. Users with org admin permissions can access the settings screen by clicking the highlighted button. The dashboard org settings screen allows the user with org admin permissions to configure a few system parameters. You can determine which group is the top level group in the organization. This is generally the department or agency level that all of the other divisions or offices report to. You can change the graphics for check marks, selection, logo, and abstract header. To insert a new graphic, just right click on the graphic and select Insert into Container. Next, Select the graphic you want to insert by clicking on the Choose File button. Now choose the graphic file you want to upload. And then click the Upload button to save the file. If you're going to change the graphics, please use the smallest file size which will give you an acceptable look. The check mark and selection graphic should be approximately 32 by 32 pixels. The logo should be about 100 pixels wide. The abstract header should be about 800 pixels wide. If the Admin Activate Partners is set to Yes, any user can enter or edit partner and partner contact data, but only a user with org admin permissions can activate or deactivate the partner or partner contact. If this is set to No, anyone can activate or deactivate the partner or partner contact. Here, you can set the number of minutes from 10 minutes to 50 minutes that the system will log the user off if there's no activity. Here, you can select the default planning element level for all of the reports in your department. As a note, after entering values on this screen, just click anywhere on the screen to save the entry. Next, we'll review the email notification setting. Here you can set the parameters by which the system will determine when and to whom it will send email notifications. With this drop down, you can turn on or off email notifications completely. Here you can select when the email notifications will be sent. You can select any of these values and for the weekly selections, you can select which day or days of the week. Selecting Week 1 and Wednesday will send out the email notifications on the first Wednesday of each calendar month. Here you can select any of these trigger events to determine if an email will be sent. If the user has not updated their operational plan information in over 30 days, they'll get an email reminder. Here, if the user's activities are lagging behind schedule, they'll get an email. And finally, if a user's activities are overdue, they'll get an email. Again, after entering any values on this screen, just click anywhere else on the screen to save the entry. This is an example of the system email to remind team leaders to update their information in the dashboard on a regular basis, keeping the information current. Next, we'll review the subcategory value type screen. These value types may be selected as defaults when entering subcategories and may be selected when tagging abstracts, services, goals, objectives, or activities with subcategories. These values will show up in the drop-down list for setting subcategory value types. Use the blue plus sign and the red X to add or delete new entries. The setting screens are a little different than the normal screens in that you just need to click anywhere on the screen to save the entry. On the next screen, we'll show you how to edit the partner types. These partner types are selected when entering a new record into the partner database tables. Partners can be filtered by partner type when searching. This concludes this module in the Administrator Training Series for the Dashboard. If you have any questions or would like more information on the VMSG Dashboard Performance Management System, please contact us using the contact information here.